The men's 800 metre final, always one of the showpieces of any major championship. And this is the lineup. Olympic champion Paul Ereng is there, world champion Kinchella, Billy Kinchella from Kenya. Mark Everett will be on the inside for the men's 800 metre final here in Tokyo. The three times American champion and still only 22 with the action rather like a flailing swimmer in distress. Pikarski, who has a storming finish, the European Championship bronze medal, he's looked good here, represents Poland. Paul Ereng, the stylish Olympic champion, won the gold in Seoul in his very first season in the event and looks to be coming back to his very best form. Thomas De Teresa, perhaps a slightly surprising finalist, which is not to say he's not a very useful 800 metre runner, but um, not many people would have expected him in the final eight, I don't think. Billy Conchella, the defending world champion who's at, had to overcome tuberculosis and asthma and all manner of injuries and upsets in the last few years. He is here to defend the championship and he holds the championship record of 1 minute 43.06 seconds on your caption there. Tall, elegant runner. And he's done this before, he's been here before, he knows the pressure. Johnny Gray, the 31-year-old American who's the oldest man in the field. So very good from time to time around the Grand Prix. Is he going to get a major championship medal at last? It's long overdue. Two laps of the track and the first bend, as always in the 800 metres, run in lanes and sometimes a real jostling for position. And how fast is this going to be? Barbosa often likes to take things from the front. And on the inside, Everett's gone very, very quickly indeed. Everett, Barbosa breaking there into second place. Johnny Gray has taken a position neatly on the outside, quite near the front. Then comes Day Teresa, Sudnik, Pikarski, and the two Kenyans at the back at the moment with Ereng hanging back. It's a fairly slow pace. I don't think there's anyone who's really prepared to go out there and blast it, and that's very interesting. That'll help the big kickers. It'll help men like, like Ereng. Uh, good tactics, I think, though, from Barbosa. He used to blast races from the front. This time he's prepared to bide his time. They're coming up the 400 metres, and we'll see it's not as quick as we sometimes expect, but not that slow either at 51.01. And Johnny Gray has gone to the front. With his shaven skull there, the 31-year-old American, Barbosa, the fastest man in the world this year in the yellow and green for Brazil in second place. The Kenyans make a forward move. Kinchella goes three, Aren goes four. Mark Everett's dropping back and looks beaten at this stage. Pikarski tries to get onto the scene, but he's got a lot of work to do. And the first four, there's a little gap. Johnny Gray, Barbosa coming forward, and Paul Aren looking ready to deliver his challenge. Brazil and Kenya as they come into the straight. Barbosa still has the lead. Paul Ereng, can he get there? Billy Conchella and Everett's come back, but Barbosa has the lead. Here comes Billy Conchella on the outside. Is Billy Conchella going to get there? Yes, he does. Conchella defends the world title. Barbosa is second, and I think Everett maybe just have got third ahead of Paul Ereng. One minute, 43.98 seconds. What? An astonishing story this is. We've hardly seen this fellow since he won the world title in Rome. He's only come back in the last couple of weeks or so around Europe. And here he is again. He's repeated his world title triumph. It's an amazing story, Peter. It certainly is. I mean, the history books will read 1987 world champion Conchella, 1991 world champion Conchella. You think, well, that's fair enough. But in between, absolutely nothing. He had to TB. To come back after TB, to come back after asthma attacks as well, it's a superb story. What a run. I've really had to feel for Barboza, though. He must have thought that at long last he's going to win a major outdoor title. And then, storming through, came this man, Billy Conchella. Oh, what a story, as you said, Ian. And Kenya, of course, after the 10,000 metres, do it again. And there's Barbosa. the forlorn figure, isn't he? Oh, Jose Luis Barbosa, bronze four years ago. 
Silva this time, and what happened to Paula Rang? He was perfectly positioned to challenge. It was a very muddling kind of race. Things were changing right, left and centre through the final 200 metres. Everett, for instance, who looked beaten and well beaten 250 metres out, came back, I think, to get the bronze. I think he did, and there's Paul Irang, well, he positioned himself right, he just didn't have the legs as it turned out in the finish. The man who did was Billy Concello. And there's the result confirmed of the 800 metres. Concello wins the gold again, Barbosa Silva and Everett did indeed get the bronze.